thanks for stopping by. Tonight I'm going to show you how I paint on another rock. Uh, tonight I will be using, once again, my little Spotter 3-0 mini detailer, which is a fingernail brush, and my, what I'm calling dotting tools, but these are clay ball making tools. And just going to create something simple along the lines of kind of similar to last night. I mean, as far as the flower or the bee, I guess probably more more so than the flower. Once again, I'll be using Moon Yellow, and that is a multi-surface wicker white folk art enamel, folk art citrus green, which is multi-surface, and thicket. All right, so what I'm going to do is start off by creating the centers of, of three little flowers. I'm sorry, you can hear my husband upstairs laughing. All right, so I'm going to put the, my first center, just get that ball really, really full of paint. And then I'm going to just start towards the top of the stone and create a circle. And then I'm going to do one over here to the side and create another circle. And then just kind of out here to the side a little bit creating another circle. Like I said, they, they really do make nice circles. And you know, you can kind of roll them around a little bit, trying to smooth out the center because I'm not using the uh, the American, the Americana brand right now. I'm just using my trusty folk art paint. I'm going to clean that off, and then the next one I'm going to use for my white petals will be my runny wicker white. If you saw my video last night, y'all know what I'm talking about because it's just kind of flows out of the flows out of the bottle. All right, so I have this really close up, and I'm just going to take my dotting tool and just go around it. Now these dots don't have to be the same. They can be bigger, smaller, um, you know, close together, apart. Just doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a real specific person, so I kind of like it to be random, if that makes sense. And there can be, like I said, there can be spaces, because, you know, in nature, when you're dealing with flowers, they're not all, petals are not all right next to each other. They can be bent a little bit, or they can be spaced out. I'm going to do it like that. All right, so now I have my three little flowers. And again, with the, with the rock painting, since the space is limited, it's not going to be, you know, a lot of what I'm doing is not going to be really real detailed, okay? Um, just going to draw a line here to make my uh, stems and go like that. Now, you can leave it simple if you want. I'm going to come back in with some of that citrus green. Or you, know, you can add more to it. I mean, this is fine if you like minimalism. And I think it's pretty just like that. Or you can get more detailed with it. And I kind of like to play with the, the colors here a little bit. Add some of the, the citrus in here, just giving it more interest. So it's not all one, one color. All right, so if you wanted to add a few little leaves, you 
could just take your little liner brush and just randomly place them. And again, I'm going to go back over them, adding some more interest with the citrus screen. Might need to go back in, maybe add a little bit more of the, the thicket. And you can just make small little little leaves. Just randomly spaced. Like that. And again, if this is too much for you, then cut it back and just alleviate the leaves. Just have the stems. And that's fine too. I'm trying to work on this one a little bit more. I just like them to have a little bit more interest to them. Now if you want, you can actually come out from the flower. Just do a, little, a few little leaves like that. And if you want... like that and then just make it cute and you still have room if you want to write something on it if you're doing like an inspirational rock of some sort then you still have room in these spaces to write something something simple something short and then just leave it at that oops I wanted this to be more disconnected but it's not and when you make mistakes, you just have to learn how to go back in and fix them. Ever so slightly, it's fine. All right, and there you have it. Now, if you want, you could go around these dots kind of like I did last night in my, my previous stone video with dots of black, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I, I think it's pretty just the way I have it right now. If you like it, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to see me paint, please put the comments below. If you like this video, make sure that you do share it with your friends. I'd appreciate that. And until the next video, have a good one.